Just because there are commonalities between world religions doesn't mean one is borrowed from another. Can we trust that the narrative of the virgin birth or is it just an act of psychological projection, unconscious psychological projection on the part of the writer of Matthew? Okay, well, if someone is going to try and say that it is the unconscious uh, psyche of Matthew, as you just pointed out there, if I got that right, they would need to have evidence for that. Look, it's hard to evaluate people on a couch in front of you. To try and evaluate somebody you never met who lived 2,000 years ago, who wrote a biography of Jesus and say, I know why he wrote this in this way. It seems like it's historical, but it's really something going on in his unconscious. I don't think we can establish that. All right. Uh, and I think what and I say I don't know if, en enough about Jung to have a firm opinion on what you're saying here. You know more about it than I do. But I do know that many people have tried to make the argument that Christianity is just another myth like all these other myths. The problem with that is, is we have so much historical evidence. We've been some of it we've been through here, which says otherwise. Secondly, just because there are commonalities between world religions doesn't mean one is borrowed from another. In fact, what brought C.S. Lewis to faith was the fact that his colleague, J.R.R. Tolkien, who, as you know, wrote Lord of the Rings, said to Lewis, see, uh, he said, uh, Jack, so that was his name, uh, they call him Jack, Jack, you know, you have always been enthralled with sacrificial heroes in myths, except in Christianity. Why is that? And he basically told Lewis that Christianity is the true myth, meaning that this is the one that really happened, and there's evidence for it. And it dawned on Lewis that he was rejecting the Gospels when he wouldn't reject stories that were actually mythical. He thought that they were beautiful stories. He knew they weren't true, but when he looked at the Gospels, he wasn't enthralled by it until Tolkien pointed it out to him and said, no, this is the true myth. And then he investigated the evidence and came to that conclusion. This really happened. 